Hello, Southern Cameroonians. I'm Bazonia. This is Ayugichu, the philosopher king. I gotta say, project by project, and county by county, by Eric Tato, is the most stupendous, the most impressive, most phenomenal strategy that we can actually use all over the 14 counties in Southern Cameroon and Bazunia. Just imagine the 14 counties that we have and with all the defense forces within the 14 counties that we have being active and proactive in their action to defend the motherland Southern Cameroon and Bazunia in taking the fight to La Republic de Cameroon to the to the military the terrorist military group of La Republic de Cameroon within our thirteen within our fourteen counties that we have inside Southern Cameroon different projects that we must demolish, that we must dismantle, that we must destroy, that we must obliterate, that we must erase within the 14 counties. Those locations, specific locations that are used by the terrorist militia of Paul Bias, like Republic of Cameroon within our state. Southern Cameroon and Bazonia. If we continue to do that in Boyo County, in Bue County, in, in Donka Mandum County, in Fako County, if we continue to do that within all those 14 counties, project by project, in the strategy of county by county, this is the best way forward. This is how we will impact and cause chaos in, like, in, in the forces or the terrorist militia of La Republic de Cameroon. Taking on different projects within the 14 counties. Attacking specific and burning down houses or government institutions owned by the Republic of Cameroon will actually um, give a huge blow on the economy because right now as you've noticed the Republic of Cameroon is drained economically they don't have the finances to continue with the war. And that's how we that's how we can actually win this war by destroying the, the economy. That's how we can actually win this war. Breaking their spirit. Little attacks make you know huge contribution to the demise. Of La Republic de Cameroon. We can do this. With the support of. The people of Southern Cameroon. Globally. This, the, the financial support. The spiritual support. The intellectual support. The military support. To our forces. In Southern Cameroon, in on ground zero, project by project, within the fourteen counties, Southern Cameroonians, we can do this. This is not impossible. This is a reality. This is when this is not a dream. This is something that we can actually do to cause havoc. Mayhem 
to those terrorist organizations called like Republic Amon that has been maltreating, enslaving us for the past 57 years. There's nothing that's impossible so long as we are standing united. We are citizens of this world, and a citizen is our birthright to live the life that we want to. But like public Cameroon is ch chokeholding the lives of Southern Cameroonians. They don't want us to su survive. They don't want us to breed. The worst, the worst thing on this earth is another black man enslaving another black man. That is the most, that's the most detrimental thing that could actually happen. We know about other races enslaving blacks. That's painful. But when other blacks are doing it to other blacks, it's the most painful memory that can never be erased in your mind. For 57 years, the citizens of Southern Cameroonians have been going through this and are going through this. Every other nation received some kind of, I said, some kind of freedom after colonization because Africa in reality is not free Africa is not free we just we think we are free we we have the illusion that we are free Africa in general is not free China is chokeholding Africa Europe is chokeholding Africa so Africa is not free but the worst thing is that with all that is happening in Africa you have other blacks choke holding other blacks and it's like double enslavement france has enslaved like public cameroon like public cameroon has enslaved southern cameroon with these two factors affecting our lives we have no other option but to fight back. To survive, Southern Cameroons. This war is our opportunity to free ourselves from this bondage. The war of Southern Cameroon. Cameroon will lead us to our freedom. This is a civil war between Southern Cameroon and Light Republic Cameroon. We shouldn't lose this opportunity. Project by project, county by county. You see, Dr. Ayabacho used the idea of block by block to inspire Southern Cameroons to fight and block by block did its part to reawaken the reawaken Southern Cameroons to join the fight but to continue to fight this war so that we can actually win block by block is not enough to do that so county by county it's the best way forward. And in county by county, we take upon projects that would help to dismantle the forces, the terrorist forces of La Republic de Cameroon within our 14 counties. Freeing our 14 counties will, will give us the opportunity, the chance to stand total to toe Head to head with Light Public de Cameroon, we will be able to even take the fight across the Mongol. 
so long as we can free our counties, our 14 counties in southern Cameroon. Freedom is not given. It must be taken by force. And force does not necessarily mean that you don't have to use intelligence. You must use intelligence. Force is the ability to use intelligence and power. If you have power and you're not using intelligence, that's not good. That's not a good force. Force is the ability to use intelligence and power. Combine that. We have a strong military within the 14 counties that will take the fight to La Republic to Cameroon. And that, my brothers and sisters, Will give us freedom. It will give us the opportunity to regain our independence. And after we regain our independence, there will be more battle. There will be more fight. Because other nations will still want to exploit us. Like China. European nations or the Western nations who still want to exploit us and continue to enslave us so that they benefit from the resources that we have and the resources that Africa has which is why Africa is still enslaved the rich, one of the richest continent in the world but people are poor thanks to the poor leadership which is why you see other nations fighting back like what is happening in Zimbabwe with the oil. And why is it oil? Because the Europe needs oil. Deals will be made to exploit the oil. Yet the African people will not benefit from, from anything. So we must wake up. Africa must wake up. Fight back because everybody wants to crush us. This is Ayukichu, the philosopher king. Share my message. Till next time.